very, very popular B-15s that get rented. Studios, you know, own them and don't want to let them go. The 64 uh, B-15NC and the 66 B-15NF. Uh, these are the most popular models and what we've done on this is we've done exact replicas of their input channels. So input channel 1 is the 1964 channel and input 2 is the 1966 channel. Now they had different biases. Uh, there's a fixed bias and a cathode bias. Uh, the fixed bias um, is, uh, well you have a switch here, so you can actually engage the biasing appropriately for its vintage channel or you can mix and match uh, the biases. So uh, that's a pretty cool thing. You get the 64, which is pretty much the Motown sound, and the 66, which is basically the start of rock and roll uh, that carries through all the way through the 60s, 70s, and 80s. Two very distinct tones. It also features the uh, original double baffle design by Jess, which uh, makes an extreme uh, input to the sound of the whole system. And uh, we spared nothing on that design aspect as well. Oh, what's that? Okay. Uh, with that, <clears throat> I would really like to bring Chris Johnson up here, our artist endorsement manager, to uh, present a special award today. Again, I thank you all for your time. I appreciate you coming out this morning. Thanks, John. Thanks for showing up today. This is a really special day for us, and I'm uh, really, really uh, honored to be here to be able to present something really cool for you guys. Um, today we're gonna, hello? You're good. Check? Okay. Um, today we're gonna honor Jess Oliver, the inventor of this amazing B-15. Um, Jess revolutionized uh, the bass amplification um, industry and, and across all it, every brand and everything uh, in 1960 when they released the original B-15. Before that it was just really small powered bass amps, nothing that was that could actually compete in a, a larger uh, band environment. Uh, so much so that you know even 50 years later his ideas are revered and completely relevant. Um, everybody around the world collects these original B-15s you know by enthusiasts and players alike they're just it's a huge um, honor to be able to stand here in front of this reissue that you know is kind of up the ante and made it even a little bit nicer. Um, the B-15 is has set a very high standard even 50 years ago for all bass amps to come and I imagine its le legacy will continue to live on for another 50 years inspiring tens of thousands of musicians, artists, and producers to come I'm sure. Um, so with that, I'd like to introduce you to the man himself, Jess Oliver. Thank you so much. Aww. 
This has been great. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're all so emotional right now. Thank you so much, Jess. Um, we are actually going to have a photo opportunity with Jess and with some of our AMPEG guys over at the Heritage B15 area. So please, if you want to snap a photo with, with Jess and, and with um, his award and some of the AMPEG folks, um, please go over there after this press conference and, uh, and get some shots. Um, he's also going to be signing on what day, Chris? Friday at on 4 o'clock. Friday at 4 o'clock. So he'll be signing with Greg Hopkins, correct? Yes. Right there. Right there. Co-author of the AMPEG book. Um, I, I want to just let you guys know, uh, again, thank you so much for coming. We, As you can tell, we have just a huge lineup at the show, and we are super amped. It's not even funny. Um, and press kits can, uh, are on a table, and that back wall, there is one CD that is just the just Oliver press release about this award and what we've done here today. And then there's another um, a CD that has all of the Mackie and Ampeg press releases along with all the new product photos. Um, I encourage you guys to ask these product managers around um, to, to get demos and actually hear this gear. Again, thank you so much and have a great NAM. Woo!